All right. One last class that we um, actually, I taught in Orlando, and Michael's going to assist me on this, is a physical interpretation with patterns and footwork. And we're going to start with a whip. Now, I do want to explain that the song that I'm going to use uh, is called Chains, and the name of the artist is Tina Arena. Tina Arena. Tina Arena. Tina Arena. Tina Arena. And, of course, you can explain why we're not going to use it here <laughs> yeah. on the demo. This is a review video. and Even on the instructional videos, we cannot use music by artists without their written permission and without permission from ASCAP, BMI, and SEAC. And since it's so expensive to do that, we're just not going to do it. It's, a ten, it's only a 10-minute review, so we hope you'll understand that. But if you pick up the song, it is called Chains by Tina Arena. And if you wait the first two measures of eight, let the two first eight counts go by, so wait 16 counts and start doing this little sequence. It'll fit to the music and you'll see how it works. So the music interpretation will make more sense. Okay. Now the song has little accents and it also has this drawn out note. So at the end of this amalgamation, you're going to see us do something that draws out a foot placement and that's going to fit with the music. So what we're going to do is we're just going to demo it and show it to you and show you where the accents will be when you hear it to the music. We're going to start with a whip. He's going to lead a whip. One, two, three, and four. Now instead of him landing on his left foot on four, he's going to tap with his left foot because he's going to turn me and I'm going to move back onto my left foot on five and he's going to lunge into his left foot on five. Now what's going to happen here is he's going to move to his right foot and I respond by moving forward onto my right foot. He creates nice resistance. I compress. We hold seven. And I go back with my left and tap with my right and he goes right. He goes left, right, correct? At eight. On the uh, eight. All right. Same as your pulse breakdown that we did earlier. Same connection, same hold and, and same drop into it. Okay, so I'm going to do it real slow. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, hold seven, and up. Eight. Just turn so that I'm around tapping. one time. Okay, this way. And one, two, three, and four. Five, six, hold seven, and up. Eight. And the reason why we're holding there is there's accents on that last little part there. The first accents are going to happen. Let's do it again. On one, two, three, and four. All right, there's accents. We'll go boom, boom, hold. And there's two little accents back here. So that fits that part of the music. Next, he's going to lead me into a push break, or sugar push as you know it. And he's going to retain my right, my left hand. I go walk, walk, one, two. Now, instead of doing triple step and anchor in place, where he's going to take me around. And we're both going to go. He's going to go back, back side together forward so he goes curves to the left and I curve to the right let's take a look at that from this angle so we're mirroring the pattern one two three and a four so I'm following his center he lets go of my left hand he turns me we swivel step on five swivel step on six hold seven and step on eight we could do it this way. And one, two, three, and a four, five, six, hold seven, and step eight. Okay, next, I'm gonna, I'm, he's going to lead an underarm turn, and we're going to extend this one to six. I mean, actually, two six counts to 12. And at the very end, you're going to see us draw out that foot placement. Ready? And one, two. All right, what's going to happen here is I'm going to bring this down. He's going to relax. We're both going to relax. And I'm going to lunge three on my right, replace on my left on four. And he's going. I'm doing the opposite action, creating the same connection the other way. I feel her pressing away, so I press away on my three. I recover to my right leg on my four. I press again on my five, five. and recover again. I'll go back and forth as long as she's doing the movement. Right. I'm and following we, her at this point. And we could do this for a while, back and forth. But in order to fit it to the music, what we're going to do is we're going to do it up to six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, he's going to touch me with his right hand. I'm going to lunge forward seven. 
He's going to move on to his I'm left gonna, foot on seven. I'm going to actually move it on seven. I'm not going to step on it until okay. the eight. eight. Good. And he's on his right foot on eight, and I'm on my left foot on eight. And we're going to go nine, and this is where the, the music has that drawn-out note. Ten, and then we both anchor eleven and a twelve. Okay? You want to do that last one? Mm -hmm. Okay? All the way through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a twelve. Let's take a look at that from another angle also. Okay. Start on this side. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Be very careful, ladies, and we'll turn this way. Not to step back so so big, or you might step on him on one, two, three, four, five, six. On on seven, it's okay to lunge forward, and we're, what we're creating is that, what did you call that, like a little uh, lock whip type of a... It's like the basket whip, basic basket whip, the same right. woman around the man type of whip. Right. Now, be careful, ladies, that you don't take this large step back with your left foot. All I'm doing is move, bringing it in before I step back so that he can bring it right behind me, and then I just take a small step so back. So let him place the distance. He'll pull you back onto it. Right. And then we step back, drag, and then anchor in. Now, you gentlemen, you can indicate the drag by controlling the release of the exit. When she's stepping away from me as I set her back onto the foot, I'm shortening my lead so it actually stops her. And then I slowly let her have that as I stretch my body the opposite direction so she can sense my timing. And then when I relax, it, we're both hitting that triple step together. Because either one of the leader or the follower is going to hear that drawn out note. And one could indicate it, and the other one could react to it. So whether it be the leader or the follower, that's what teamwork's all about, right? You betcha. Right? Okay. Did you, should we just go over all of them? Yeah, let's do all three of them all together three then. Of them. Okay, the first one was the whip, and then the second one was a push break. Two, three, and four, five, six, hold seven, and a eight, push break. One, two, three, and a four, five, six, hold seven, step eight, under our one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, he's going to touch me here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Great, that completes that. That was all of the workshops that we did there. We hope you guys have enjoyed that. And we do look forward to you coming back and seeing us again on other videos. Uh, 